everybody has a body, you know? Like, everybody has a body. I have one. You have one. We all have one. And it's what we do with it that counts. You know, when I first found out that I had a body, I just threw it in a river. I was ashamed of it. Then uh, I realized <laughs> everyone else has one too, so I, I, I dug it out the river, and I just, I, I wore it proud. I wore it proud like a, like a, like a flag around my, around my, uh, my blood and my uh, bones. And uh, that's what I did. You know, that's how I found out I had a body. Guys, welcome to the new movie thing show. This is... <coughs> <coughs> Hey guys, welcome to the new Movie Thing Show. This is the show where we go to the movie theaters and we watch brand new projected films in the theater. Onto a wall. I'm Steve Zaragoza. And I'm William Haynes. This episode of the new Movie Thing Show is brought to you by Strunsum's Dog Hair Pillows. Your dogs will love those hairs pillows. So what did we see in the movie theater today, Will? This week we saw A Million Ways to Die in the West. Yes, we did, and that movie was written by directed by and starring Seth MacFarlane, the man behind Family Guy, American Dad, and the Ted movie. This is what we see is a real auteur filmmaker, and that's the only fancy word I know. It's a funny comedy. Go see it with your friends. Sit down, have a good time, and get ready to laugh. I used to think that like Seth MacFarlane's humor was just like so juvenile, but now I, I was like, this is actually pretty funny. Like there's a lot of uh, like a like a like those types of jokes that are you know little they, fart they, jokes. They for little 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 boys, but I enjoyed it. It was a, I, I loved it because it, it it used one of my favorite swear words, the f word, more than any word in the entire movie. That word was used, and I was I was I enjoyed it. Do you it not like good. fart jokes, Will? Ah, uh, uh, they're all right. They're all right if you do them right. Especially when someone gets hurt during it. But. <laughs> <laughs> this movie stars Seth MacFarlane and Charlize Theron, who is a mwah, rare steak. Amanda Seyfried, Seyfried, Amanda Seyfried is in it. Uh, she has big eyes. She's got big eyes and she's a pretty girl. Liam Neeson is in the movie. His voice is like a beautiful bass guitar and I just want to play him all night long, you know what I'm saying? Also, Neil Patrick Harris is in the movie. Neil Patrick He's Harris great, he's hilarious. The movie is about uh, the old West and how hard and terrible it was to live in it and if you were aware of how awful and terrible it was, it was an awful and terrible experience for you. It's also about a man who's trying to find his courage and keep the ladies and just ha live a nice life and he just doesn't live a good life. I feel like they really did some research on this they movie sure about things. Mm -hmm. They use words that I didn't know were words and things that I didn't know were things. I, I bet there's this, there's this joke in the movie about how like they use like a, a blue jay to like to, to heal people. It's a woodpecker. I, I bet it's true though. I bet, I bet it is true. I bet it is true. Yeah, there's a lot of good jokes in this movie, a lot of great scenes. Uh, I thought it was uh, pretty well written for it was. for a comedy. I think so. I think so. I think so. It's kind of it's you know it's kind of paint by numbers Hollywood stuff going on there. Uh, but for the most part, it was entertaining. It was a little long. Mm. It's like l pretty much a two hour comedy, mm -hmm. which is kind of ridiculous in the comedy world. I mean, not you, you don't want to make your comedy movie too long unless you've got like you got a way to fill it with like some fucking guttural good laughs. There were some parts where the movie wasn't boring to no. me, but like there were just some parts there was like silence. I was like, eh, shoot somebody or something, or like say something about a some make a reference to pop culture. Oh, you can't, but okay, cool. But they did. But they did still. Plenty. Yeah. What else is there really to say about it? It is just a. It's kind of like one of those like just take your friends, go have a good time. Yep. Ha, you know, laugh at some of the jokes and 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 the performances. There's some pretty good jokes with like some of the older people in the movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I say I like that this is the type of movie if you and your bro are sitting on the couch at home just chilling, maxing, relaxing, scrolling on Instagram, and he's like, hey, yo, I'm bored, let's pick up some chicks, and you're like, we don't know any chicks. Then he's like, okay, cool, let's go to the movies, you can go and see this movie. I give this movie five out of 10. That's what I give it. All right. I enjoyed it, That's I probably cool. will never see it again, I will not own it. Okay. But I had a great time, I enjoyed it, but 
It's not gonna. It's not breaking any records. I'd give this movie a seven out of ten because I sat there and I had some giggles. I had a little bit of giggles, and I'd, I'd watch it again if I was, you know, if I was chilling at home with my bros and he, we were scrolling around on Instagram and he was like, hey, let's go sci and find some chicks, and I was like, we don't know any chicks. I'd say, hey, I do have this. Let's go to the Red Box and get that a million ways to die movie, and we just pop it right into the PS3. Nobody owns Blu-ray players or DVDs anymore. If you got a gaming system, you can just put it right in there and we watch it right on my TV. Me and my bro wouldn't have any popcorn because you know I don't have I don't have any. We're not the only ones that watched this movie and reviewed it as well. Rotten Tomatoes critics gave it 33%. Dang. And the audience gave it a 57%. All right. I'm an audience. I see what that means. You're an audience, too. You, I am you an think audience. like them. Okay. IMDb gave it 6.5 out of 10, which isn't bad for a comedies film. It's for, for a comedian's film. Mm -hmm. it's, it's not bad. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, look, I can't help but compare a, a comedy western to uh, the the one of the greatest comedy westerns of all time, maybe one of the only comedy westerns of all time, <laughs> uh, Blazing Saddles. Blazing Saddles. I can't help but compare it because of the setting and this and that. But unfortunately, I mean, you can't hold a candle to Blazing Saddles. In fact, some of the even modern great comedies can't hold a candle That's to Blazing true. Saddles. But for me, I can kind of uh, I can kind of understand where the critics are coming from. It's it's not it's you know it would have been nice to be like oh man this is the Blazing Saddles for this generation. Yeah. But it definitely. No, isn't. it wasn't. I was hoping that as well, especially during the opening credits. I was like, this might be like that, but it right? wasn't. Yeah. It wasn't the Blazing Saddles, but it still was good. Still yeah, enjoyed it. Enjoyed it. Enjoyed uh, ca it. Strange cameos too. By strange the way. cameos. Yeah. And also stick around during the credits or not. I think it's a strange. Just you could YouTube thing. it. You could YouTube. You could probably YouTube, it. YouTube, it, YouTube it later. It. Also, get ready to see a lot of sheep dick. Yeah, uh, yeah, quite a bit of that. You're gonna see realistic sheep penises. Well, thank you guys so much for watching the new movie thing show. We really enjoy that you watched the show and you gave us your attention, and I love you very much, and I would love to hug you in person if you were a real person in front of my face. I'm Steve Zaragoza. I'm William Haynes. Don't forget to like and subscribe and click on the annotation to see some other videos on the channel. Bye! <laughs> <This guy. laughs>